Here's the price you pay for living in the desert. What well, we have insane sound, uh, sandstorms. Press up, hey. I just did a full clean, a full clean of this thing yesterday. Literally a handful of sand. I just did a complete, like, full clean of the computer and everything. The sand is going to break my computer. I already broke a couple keyboards. Hmm. Uh, I can't. I can't really tell. I kind of wiped all this, but all the little, like, parts of plastic you see right here, that was gray. All the fans are just pulled the sand in. I have a mouse pad here. Mouse pad was gray. Both when I lift the mouse up, underneath it was black. Look. Look at this. I kind of blew some of the sand off that, but it, it this is ridiculous, man. Leave this is what happens when you leave when I leave the window open. And the top of the radiator, I already kind of wiped it off already, but it was gray, so. I just did a 100, look at you see the sand all in the cracks right there. <laughs> and the reason why I get so insanely sandy in here, the driveway is by the window. So the sand just gets whipping up on the driveway because it doesn't happen in the other room. This other room, the it's the backyard is there, so it's like it's dirt with I don't know, weeds or little grass or whatever, but it doesn't get whipped up like that and goes in the room. I'm pissed, man. This is this is, this is ridiculous. Insanely ridiculous. Like, it's gonna break my damn computer, man. And this thing wasn't cheap. About 5k. That's not cheap. Even if it was a $1,000 computer, that would still suck. Look at this, man. I'm still doing that. This is ridiculous. Well, I got a glass on it, so it's reflecting, so you probably can't really tell. Does it look that bad inside there compared to, <laughs> compared to this? Already kind of wiped it off. You can see the white marks before I decide to do a video. Ugh. It's ridiculous. 
I just did a full like a full clean of the whole desk and computer yesterday. Well, I'm kind of irritated, man. There's a lot of work I got to do right now. Oh man, this is ridiculous. Oh, that's a long job of having to clean this. I'll be back on the next part. This is what I got to clean the computer. If you don't have one of these to clean the computer, you're missing out. This is what I always used to have to use. Paintbrush. It's actually falling apart. I'm trying to hold the phone and stare at the same time.
Kind of hold the phone and do this at the same time. It's kind of hard. The reason why power supply still looks clean is I did a full clean yesterday. Just to go to sleep with the window open and have like a half a pound of sand on my desk. There it is, fully clean. The last video I did of me cleaning it with that duster was probably kind of shaky because I was afraid to use the duster and actually bump something and break something on the motherboard. Clean. I had to do the whole room all day. Go to sleep with the window open because it's hot. Wake up. Well, like two piles of sand on the desk. Mouse pad, everything was gray. Move the mouse pad, or the mouse, just had the black outline from where the mouse was. If you don't have one of them dusters, you know, 
if you don't have one of them dusters, <laughs> oh man, it would have been like a crazy amount of work. Oh. <clears throat> There it is there. Best way to clean a computer, man. Of course, you're going to have to use like a paintbrush too to wipe, to like wipe it off and maybe a rag or something like that. But you need one of them blowers. And it's pretty powerful too. I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks. Oh. There it is there. And when I turn the light off, it just, the red overkills it. It looks all like smurry red on the camera. Nice and clean now. Still got to get another uh, another light strip to go around the front of that. Water pump looks like it's bubbling. Uh oh, battery's about to die. Left the phone on all this time. All right. 